next question is going to come from the chairman and CEO of the Manila Times, Mr. Dante Klink Ang II. Mr. Ang, your question, please. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to turn your attention now to education, uh, which I believe is relevant in preparing the country to compete in the future. Mostly, the initiatives in this sector included raising the salaries of teachers. But what is not mentioned in the policy work is that these increases favor only those in the public school system. In fact, the private education system has suffered unintended consequences involving mainly the migration of teachers from the private to the public sector. This is an added strain on the private schools and it imperils the jobs of hundreds and thousands of teachers, administrators, and other employees. They have been reminding lawmakers and policymakers that the 1987 Constitution recognizes the complementarity, the complementary roles of public and private institutions in the educational system, according to Article 14, Section 4, Subsection 1. My question is, as president, how will you execute the constitutional provision on complementarity in education so that we have a stronger educational system built in a true-to-form public-private partnership? And the first candidate to answer that question would be Secretary Abella, then we'll have Caliodi, Secretary Gonzalez, and Senator Marcos. I'm familiar with the problem because we run a secondary school. And that's true that, uh, you know, many of them just leave. Now, uh, offhand, you know, what do you do? But basically, I think what we could do is if we could uh, pr provide, for example, certain, uh, uh, if, if, the, if government could actually supply, not, not supply, provide private schools with uh, additional benefits and leeways and uh, uh, leeways in terms of uh, uh, in terms of support, not necessarily direct dollouts, but actually, uh, for example, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, holidays, tax, re tax rebates, uh, rebates along that line. But uh, definitely, it's something that needs to be attended to, and uh, and and uh, it's something that uh, uh, has to be responded to as soon as possible, and uh, and. And basically, it should be considered as a top priority. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Abella. Kaliodi, same question. Uh, mas talaga ang dapat gawin ay mas magbigay talaga yung gobyerno ng mas mataas na atensyon at uh, dito sa sektor ng edukasyon. At... Uh, Ho, dapat hawag niyang buong-buo na talagang ipinagpapaubaya doon sa, sa private that uh, nag uh, re ito ng daming problema para doon sa ating mga mag-aaral. Uh, turing natin na importanteng sektor ito na yung edukasyon at uh, yung responsibilidad talaga ng gobyerno natin ay eh, itaas uh, to the maximum na akuin niya akuin niya yung, yung responsibilidad na tiyakin na yung sektor ng edukasyon natin ay nabibigyan ng prioridad at uh, natutugunan yung pangailangan ng tamang uh, curriculum na nakaayon doon sa programa sa pagbangon ng ating ekonomiya. Hindi dapat mahiwalay. At uh, itulak yung private na, na tugunan din na, para mag-complement para you, sa kanila plano. Secretary Gonzalez. Pinaka-importante ang edukasyon. Lalo na kung nag ambition tayo maging first world. Dapat ipibigay natin sa ating kabataan ang pinaka pinakamahusay na edukasyon na makukuha natin sa mundo. Yan ay dapat na ipatupad 
ng ating pamahalaan. Ngayon, may isang malungkot na bagay lang lang na dapat tayong i-correct. Alam nyo, hati ang lipunan natin sa mayaman at mahirap. Ito ay malinaw na malinaw sa sistema ng edukasyon natin sa Pilipinas. May edukasyon pang mayaman, may edukasyon pang mahirap. Sinasabi natin, pag eskwelahan ng mahirap, okay na yan, pang mahirap lamang. Hindi papayagan ng ating pamahalaan ng bagay na yan. There will be a common standard for all. We need our young people to receive the same kind of education whether you are rich or you are poor. Which means na i-implement natin yung nasa konstitusyon. Tutu- ito bubuhos ng gobyerno, privado, publiko, ang pagtataas ng antas ng quality ng ating edukasyon na nakatutugma sa pangangailangan ng ating mga kabataan sa kasulukuyan. Dapat, mabadali na lang ngayon yan, Mag- mag-relay tayo sa iba't ibang universidad, sa iba't ibang panig ng daigdig. Dali natin dito ang pinakamal Magagandang edukasyon para sa ating kabataan. Thank you, Secretary Gonzalez. Senator Marcos. Maganda at napunta ang usapan natin sa larangan ng edukasyon dahil sa aking pananaw ay ang edukasyon ang pinakamahalagang serbisyo na idinudulot ng pamahalaan sa kanyang mamamayan. Kaya uh, ang dapat unang gawin ay siyempre yung public school system ang unang dapat titignan. Patitibayin natin at saan natin pagagandahin, papano natin pagagandahin, unang-una suportahan natin ang ating mga guru na yung sapat ang kanilang, uh, hindi, hindi late yung kanilang sahod na dumadating. Unang-una, naging reklamo yan ng mga teacher natin. Uh, un- pangalawa, lahat ng benepisyo na nasa batas ay maibigay natin sa kanila nang sa ganun, hindi nila kailangang isipin kung papapagandahin paano nila papakainin ang kanilang sariling pa- pamilya eh, at ang iniisip lamang nila kung paano natin uh, kung paano sila magtuturo para pagandahin ang magiging kinabukasan ng ating mga kabataan. And sa 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 bukod pa doon ay yung mga facilities. Kailangan yung silid aralan ay paramihin natin yung mga supplies na binibigay natin sa ating mga public school ay uh, paramihin natin pagandahin natin lahat ng mga materials na ginagamit at uh, sa ga, sa sa ganong paraan ay ang mga teacher natin kailangan natin suportahan hindi lamang sa financial na suporta kung hindi sa pag-aaral sa pag-refresher course para sila ay talagang tinuturo nila ang pinakabago at ang pinakatama na dapat turuan sa mga bata ngayon. Thank you, Senator Marcos. I think uh, Secretary Abelia has a reaction. Gusto mo lang po dagdagan na uh, for example kasi ang pinag-uusapan po natin dito yung support to private schools, right? Kung pwede, uh, pwede magbigay ng, uh, ng paluwa, paluwal ang gobyerno, lalo na sa mga private schools, lalo na pag sila special, mag specialize sa science, technology, and, and, and the sciences, and, and the sciences. So kung pwede po sana natin bigyan silang paluwal, suporta paggawa ng mga laboratory, suporta paggawa ng mga research, ng mga teachers, mga guru. And then, meron lang, ano, kumbaga, meron ding uh, kontrata, some sort of covenant, na ano may yung makuha doon, should be shared, no? should be it should be shared basic it should be uh, dapat na share for example research science ganun dapat na share sa uh, sa, nego- sa business so that it becomes part of the public treasury of knowledge so kumbaga para yung tinatawag natin na complementarity ay dapat maano dapat ma- matugunan ay eh, matutugunan lalo na by supporting private schools especially those na nagsusuk na na talagang pumupunta sa science tech, uh, ini-emphasize nila ang science thank you secretary abelia thank you uh, it, mr ang has a follow up question I- yes secretary uh I think one of the existing programs now is the voucher system, yes, given voucher. directly to students, Correct. allowing them to choose whether they enroll in a public school or a private school. The problem, however, is that some say that the voucher system does not go far enough, and even the amounts of the vouchers themselves require public schools to um, um, charge a top-up fee just to meet their cost if they are to offer the available programs that, uh, that they have. So would you, as president, look into that as a possible solution so that there will be competition, a healthy competition, between public and private schools on quality and let the students choose? I would do that. I would definitely I would do that, especially katulad nung sa pero tama kayo yung voucher system kulang talaga yon, no? Kulang talaga siya. Kung pwede dagdagan. On the other hand, 
Basat, uh, pwede naman taasan yung pinamimigay. Basat lang, yung resulta, no? Re magiging resulta, should be made publicly available so that nagiging kasama sa ating public treasury of knowledge. Yun po. Yes. May okay. I... Senator Marcos? Yes. Um, Senator Marcos. Sa palagay ko, dahil, kaya na, kahit anong voucher system ang gawin natin, magiging laging kulang yan. Uh, kaya uh, sinasabi ko, unahin natin ang ating public school system. Ngayon, paramihin natin ang ibinibigay ng pamahalaan na scholarship para yung mga deserving, yung mga napakasipag at napakatalino at napakatalented ay may mabigyan ng pagkakataon na makapunta sa kahit anong eskwela. Hindi lamang dito sa Pilipinas. Marami tayong scholarship, uh, scholarship programs na nanggagaling sa iba't ibang ahensya ng gobyerno. At sa ganung paraan din, maaari natin i-encourage. Sasabihin natin, kailangan natin ng agronomist. No? Di gumawa tayo ng scholar, scholar, para, nung labas tayo ng marami scholar, scholarship fund para sa mga agronomist. Gusto natin ng paramihin ng ating engineer. Ganun din. Kaya siguro, yan ang ma maari nating magawa para bigyan ng pagkakataon ang nanggaling sa public school na makapag-aral sa mamahalin na private school. You, Senator. Senator, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the study uh, commissioned by COCOPEA. This is the Coordinating Council of Private Education Associations of the Philippines. They did a commission study around 2020 where the results were the returns on investment by private schools resulted in higher returns than the investments in the private educational system. So in a sense, there is private capital being invested for a public good. And yet, the private school system is saying that they are not given a, an even playing field because all of these initiatives, although well met, somehow have these unintended consequences that work against the private educational sector's economic interest. Well, the, uh, uh, the very nature of a public school as opposed to a private school is, are different. Uh, is different. And as you say, the private capital is being expended to run that private school. And therefore, the decisions on how they run that school depends on the management of that school. Now, the public school is something we have control over. And that is why I think that we should, uh, we should focus our efforts first in the public school system. And uh, uh, the private schools will, will again, uh, find maybe if they need that, if that is what they need, they need uh, additional capital because it is not only an educational institution, but it is also a business. And therefore, they have to make those decisions themselves. Uh, now, if we improve the quality of the teaching in our public schools and the support that we give our teachers, then I think we can even out that playing field that you're talking about. Any reactions from our candidates?